Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So we did end up shifting planets. Um, if you go to the star map real quick, we did shift all the way up here to pull off this um, flashpoint that's up here. Uh, it's a clan loot cache. We were down here, here, not misery, Gandhi's luck. But in the time that we were logged off, someone flipped it back to Federated Suns, probably this person right here. Um, but who knows, someone flipped it back, 100% Federated Suns. So I just jumped up here. Now I didn't need to sell a few things to be able to get up here. Um, we didn't have a lot of sea bills up. We had enough for our financial report, but not enough for the jump. So I did sell a bunch of stuff. Now, um, be able to look at the mech bay. Uh, also what I did too, when I started on the Thunderbolt, we didn't have a lot of sea bills to get this guy really working. Uh, but I did start it. So we've got a core in it now. I got E cooling plus one. I want to get a plus two E cooling. We don't have a lot of proto, uh, prototype, our, our pro double heat sinks. We've got one pro double heat sink. So, um, I want to see if I can get, uh, like a higher E cooling for in here. Um, I put the warfare suite in. I want to put void armor in this guy because I want to use this guy as a long range platform. Unfortunately, um, it would cost too much to put it in right now, so I had to leave that off for now. Uh, but we got to start on it, so we are going to be working on getting this guy fixed up. We'll have to get the armor maxed out. Uh, so we might as well do that right now. Let's just put it in 21,000. Let's confirm that. Just to get it going as we're doing stuff here. Because uh, we want to get that guy up and running as soon as possible. So let's have a look today. So we're going to go right in, jump on this flashpoint. It is a short flashpoint. Uh, there's a lot of um, conditions on it though. We need to retri retrieve a valuable asset at night. Local atmospheric conditions are affecting our ability to land. We can drop one lance of up to 120 tons with a maximum mech weight of 40 tons. This has an easy difficulty and it's a clan loot catch, cache or cache. So we're going to begin this one. And we're going to do something I normally don't do. I'm going to mix pilots and... Um, where the hell is it? Going to mix pilots. It's a one skull. Going to mix pilots and uh, mechs. And we're going to go full salvage on it. See what we can get out of this. So we're going to flush out. Oh, we should have left the Urania in there. Raptor can stay in. And we're going to run. Uh, where are we here? The Urania. And we're going to get the fire starter in here. That's good for weight. Baba Yaga is going to take the Urania. And we're leaving Megasaur out this time. Going to bring Red Comet in the fire starter. Sounds like a good mech for her to run. And Sunflower in the Raptor. Uh, we should be able to pull off the mission with these guys without too much of a problem. So let's go ahead and do this. So the speed is of the essence here. We need to get in, get the clan technology, and get out. Likely to be well defended. When isn't it? Okay. Ready to rock, Chief. Let's do this. Got it. Full speed, no target. Have targets very shortly. Okay, now I want to get this guy Copy that. set up. We're going to leave the LK on. I want to probably put acid on the 6 for now, just to make sure we get a hit with it. Nah. Waiting for the right move. Okay, what do we got here? A Grinner, Shamesh, Raven, and Scimitar. So the Grinner is really the threat here. Uh, so let's get on this guy right away. Uh, I'm going to Warlord it up. I wonder if we should try an offensive push and take his head off. Only 11% chance to hit the head though. 59 in the leg. Don't know how much armor he's got in the leg. Well, let's see if we can leg him. I have no idea where I hit him. No idea. Arm shot, of course. Commander. <sighs> hmm. How aggressive do I want to be here? Probably pretty aggressive. I got to get rid of this guy fast, so. 
going to confirm that. That's pretty good. Uh, what are we on the dead fire? 64. So let's switch over. I'm going to leave the acid up with the 6. Just so we know we hit him. And firing. Okay, I got the acid on him. Yes, Commander. Acknowledged. Get right in here. I kind of want to do a... Ah, we could go for... Yeah. We don't have the... Um, yeah, we don't have the resolve. We're just going to fire. Okay, there goes the torso. That hit something good. He's almost done. He's only down one weapon, though. We're only getting two salvage out of this, so I want to hopefully get the engine core. Don't know if that's going to be possible or not. taking so much damage already. Saracen. I wonder what this Grinner is going to do now. I mean, we could try and push him to force him to uh, bail out. Nope. It'd be nice to get some clan pulses as well. Anything clan at this point would be nice. Somebody went and killed off Ghost Bear on us. Okay, so. Let's see if we can take this leg. Well, we can certainly take the arm off him. Switching targets, going back to LK ammo, and acid, and firing. Okay, not a bad start. Comet can come around here, most likely take his leg. We got a lot of damage on this guy. Ah. Just gonna fire one. There we go. That's a kill. It is a kill. I kind of like missions like this where it's limited tonnage. Here comes Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> Thanks for showing up, buddy. So we're going to move the Irenia in, grab the clan tech. Let these two guys duke it out over here, Raptor versus Raven. And we'll have the fire starter to kill that Shamesh so he's not behind us. I know it's only a medium, but when I'm gone, while we're fighting over here. Shamash. Sandwich. Oh, we can get behind that guy. Yep, yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. What's your armor like? Uh, not too bad. Fifty-seven, seventy-five, seventy-five, seventy. It's fire on the Raven. All right, and now let's move. I'm here. Uh, do what we said we were going to do. I'm there. Let's get all these turned back on here, and let's fire. fire it. Guy's pretty speedy. Give him that. Um, sunflower. How do we want to kill this guy? 
think we want to. I don't think we want to kill him like right away, but let's see if we can. Dead fire is only twenty nine, huh? And it's gonna sp spray everywhere. Let's just go with LK and acid firing. All right, guys, what are you doing? Let's do this, guys. Mm-hmm. Should have moved farther than that. You're going to be in trouble now. Saracen, what's he doing? The Raptor, I don't know. We should be able to probably pull this leg off him. He's got like, oh wow, all his weapons were in his left torso, eh? Or right torso, I mean. Uh-huh. Pulling the same trick on us, are you? So we should be able to shoot this guy's leg off. And then maybe get the other one on the ground. Oh, he's going to melee. Even better. See if we can finish this guy up. Yep. Okay. Comet, let's get over. I don't know where this vehicle's damaged. Let's just sprint it. Get right on the side of this guy. Nice and close. Fire everything. I want to take my time on the Raptor, or on the Raven that is, so let's get this vehicle gone. Let's go with the dead fire. Can leave the acid off. Uh, yeah, let's go all dead fire on him. Nice. Okay, come on the side. Got our warlord up now. Let's confirm it. Just for the extra percentage chance to hit. Going to go after the leg and fire. Yeah, he's going down. Alright, let's finish this up. Alright, so you've got... Mm, 20 something left in that leg. Let's do it. Copy that, Commander. Damn you. Hit the leg, hit the leg. The leg. Aye, aye. The leg. There we go. Target. Nicely done. Mission successful. All right, so I really love missions like that, um, especially flashpoints. Got Dr Draconis Combine rep minus two with Wolf, no big deal. But uh, yeah, man, no C bills, no real damage. But we get the clan loot catch, and we also get the ability to take some clan stuff. Ooh, Grinner parts. Well, we're moving up in weight class. I'm not really, don't really want to go that route. Um, no clan XL engines, eh? Clan double heatsink kit, though. And clan double heatsink. We got two of these. So that's a good possibility. Guardian ECM clans, which are nice. Ferro fibers for space saving, which is really nice. Endo steel for space saving, which is really nice. I'm trying to think if we don't if we don't get any more clan gear for a while, what is going to really help us out the most? ER mediums are kind of nice for range. I'm thinking though, 
maybe the endo steel um, we could go with the clan double heatsink kit uh, clan pharaoh is also really nice though Yeah, man, I don't know. Huh. Maybe we take that. It's space saving. The clan double heat sinks are space saving. We got two of them. Problem is if we put a mech together with the clan double heat sinks and we lose one, we don't have any replacements. That's the that's my issue. We don't have a ready source of them. ER medium's kind of nice. Medium clan pulse is nice as well. I wish there was like clan LRMs and stuff. That would be great. Clan Guardian, it's a half ton lighter. You know what, let's go with the space saving stuff. I think maybe we go that route. I know if we lose this in a mech too, where it's not readily readily replaceable, but I lose more heat sinks than I do endo or ferrofibers, so let's go this route. All right, we got two Grinner pieces, nice, Raven piece, small engine core, LK ammo, eh, kind of a bad roll. Okay, so the bonus thing about this though is, oh, we got a Grinner? I guess maybe regular Wolfhounds count towards Grinners, maybe? I guess so, because it is technically a Wolfhound. Okay, cool, we might actually get some good stuff off that. Okay, about 10,000 in repairs. And here's our loot cache, roll the dice, and... Cha-ching, retractable blade, ER, PPC, rare mech part, battle master. Wow, that's kind of cool. Some bonus lasers, melee gyro, AMS. Oh, upper energy actuator. Okay, we lost one of these a little while ago. All right, well, I mean, for like a one skull mission though, actually this is not that bad. It could have been way worse. Could have been way worse, for sure. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. We, I mean, we can't say no, but that's going to cover our monthly uh, financial report too, which is good. All right, so that was pretty good, actually, overall. So three of our main pilots are out of action. We've got some contracts we can do here, uh, a variety of different ones, which is kind of nice. So we got some three-and-a-half skulls, uh, four skulls, four and a half skulls. Uh, the the on guard one, I think I want to do. Um, got a chance to get some good equipment off these guys. Um, search denial. Uh, this is against Draconis Combine, um, but it's six twenty seven. Sorry, six twenty seven salvage. Most likely it'll be vehicles and stuff we're against. Probably if I had to wager, but we can might get good salvage out of this. So if we do this one first. Right with our medium lance, we're gonna have to mix up some mechs though, and then um, we can take like on guard for the last mission today. I think so. Let's do this one, let's negotiate, and we're gonna go full salvage and accept. Got enough sea bills, so we'll check out. Actually, you know what? Let's check. Well, we'll check out the grinner when we come back. All right, so these three are out, fire starters out. Let's bring in our second lance, Satori. Uh, Chupacabra, Sound Sonic, and Sheet Metal. And then, um, so you don't get to use, you get to use the Bushwhacker because we I used your Arena. So we'll put that in there. Uh, Chupacabra's been running the Crab. Now the Raven is out, unfortunately, which was Speed of Sound Sonic's mech. So let's give you Wolverine and then the Hunchback. Sure, why not? We mixed the lance up today. We don't we don't do this very often, but we mixed them up a bit. So this gives us some good maneuverability. Um, 
I mean, I could put the fire starter in, but this is way better. Uh, so let's do this. All right, we're betraying our uh, Draconis Combine friends here, but uh, it's just business. Ready for anything. Yeah, I hate this map. I guess it's okay if you got jump jets, though. You could just sit up here and kill people, but uh, when have I ever done I things you. the easy way? Yeah, you're going to like this mech girl. Um, let's get into position. Receiving you. Okay. Yeah. Speed of sound, Sonic. Yeah, maybe not like that. That's a little yeah. better. Sheet metal. I need to get you into a position where you can smash somebody really fast. Okay. I'll quiet in the western front. Reporting enemy contact. Uh-huh. That guy came out of nowhere. Let's hope they're all not stealthy as shiz. This guy's going to get a rude awakening, though. Oh, what do we got back here? Landmines. Gauntlet. Really? I, don't we got gauntlet parts, don't we? Or am I thinking of... What can I do for you? Or I'm thinking of gorilla parts, probably. Uh... Err. Standing by. God, how... Bold, I think I should be here. That's gonna fuck up our uh, ultra. Yeah, see. Okay, so we got. A bushwhacker, Yenlo Wang. Wow, this is a nice lance. I'm gonna fire on this guy. Just to get started. We got an opportunity for some really good salvage here. Like it's 627? You kidding me, man? We just gotta play it really, really safe here. I mean, not too safe, but safe enough. All we need is someone that can actually hit with this mech. Won't matter. God, he's got a heavy PPC. Firing everything I've got. Okay, got a tag on him. Let's move behind the rock. Hey. Nope. Here it comes. Oh, that was a leg shot. You're not even gonna show me, it's so horrible. It's probably wrapped around his neck right now. Just kicked so hard. Slung up and wrapped around the guy's neck. Okay, let's get in here. See if we can get this leg. Firing. See guys? You guys move forward. This is exactly what's going to happen to you. Ah, oh, we've almost CT'd him. Really? You couldn't go for the leg. The leg. Um, gonna leave off the dead fires and go with the ultra.
God damn it. Coordinates received. Let's hide. Shh, they won't know we're here. 48 left, 58 in the CT. Come on, buddy. Bring it in so I can see you. There you are. Screw you and your landmines. Yeah. Oh, uh, these guys are fast. It's a solid lance build, though. Like, two gauntlets and a bushwhacker and a Yen Lo Wang. That's like a solid lance build. Uh, if I do this, though, can't move the Wolverine in there. And I want to get the Wolverine over here. So, let's go this way. Okay, guys. Let's hope we get it. There we go. Legs are gone. One down. He should have. Waiting for orders. Let's welcome this guy to the fight. Uh, let's not give a potential back exposure. Question is. Nope, it's not a question at all. Let's just do it. Putting my weight into it. I was worried about if we wish we just maybe attack him from the front, but I think we should just take off Pretty the side here. Let's get in here. And let's push that leg a bit. Ah, maybe not. Let's just shoot him. We've already got good bushwhacker parts. Let's leave that on. Let's take this off and fire. She, she's not really not equipped to handle this mech because she doesn't have uh, Warlord to pull the heat down. I don't even think she's got minus 5% heat reduction either. So she's really not equipped to handle that mech. But that's okay. Um, I'm going to fire. Going down. Critical hit, Commander. Waiting for orders. How badly do I want this guy? The answer is none. None more badly. Let's get into here. Printing. Ah, I was hoping for a better chance to hit than that. I'm gonna fire on this bushwhacker. No, I didn't finish up the gauntlet. I'm really hoping we can get more salvage off him. His leg is almost gone. We might be able to pull both legs. Oh, he's going to melee. He's coming in for a death stroke. Okay, this guy's got to get up. We can easily pull the leg. How much fucking around here do I want to do? That's the question. It's really how much fucking around are we going to do with this? Um, let's not mess around too much. Goodbye. That's a kill. That is. Okay, you need to get away from the Yenlo Wang shooting you in the back. We're shooting at you at all if we can. Um, yeah, I think over here you'd probably be relative. Yeah, we'd be okay. I think over here. Just turn like this, though. I shouldn't have sprinted that. Yeah. I'm gonna just pot shot this leg. Let's get some heat back. Um. 
I think just the medium pulse probably to be enough to do it. Yep. Okay, so we still do have a chance to pull the other leg. Did take a CT hit there. Dropping a little bit of fast gam. Ah, he's protecting the other side. What can I do for you? You betcha. Gonna go all out, see if we can get it. This should be good. Wow. Got a knockdown though. Uh, this leg. Sure. Ah, well. We're gonna have lots of parts, so I'm not worried. Let's reserve. Hey. Hey. All right, firing it all. Okay, we got the narc, I think, or tag. Ready for order. Let's take the big gun. Oh, we can't. We can only attack him from the front. That's fine though. Punch him. Punch him right in the face. On for physical attack. Oh, legs good too. I think I hit something There's lots of good salvage on the end low wings. They got a big combat shield. I don't know if they made it like if they integrated it now, but uh, they usually have a big combat shield. Don't move. Let's do this. <sighs> spread it around. Why don't you spread it around? Okay, what do we got left here? Not that much. <sighs> what are we gonna do? This maybe? Yeah, he's got lots left. Let's just do this. There we go. Nicely done. Did you see that? I did see it. Good work. Yeah, that was good. That was a nice mission. Too bad it was against the Draconis Combine, but we'll have to take it. We got penned, but not that much. Did we? We did not get penned. Why is it saying we were penned? Oh, landmines, I guess. Did something to the legs, I guess? I don't know. That's kind of weird. All right. Oh, did we took we took structural damage from the landmines. That's kind of interesting. Okay. All right. Gauntlet parts. Wait, we don't have any bush. What? That's bullshit. We got lots of parts. I know we do. Lots of bushwhacker parts. Lots of gauntlet parts. Okay. Double. Plus flame, we don't need it. Heavy PPC, no. Just checking to see if there's anything major down here we want. Um, that's kind of nice, but we already have one. I think this might end, actually end up going into the um, Thunderbolt, depending on what we hard point. Well, I don't think we have hard points for it, so. Double heat sink kit, we don't need. Masks are nice. But I think I'm going to go all mech parts on this one. We are trying to push ourselves here. So maybe we go... Oh, God. Gauntlet or Bushwhacker. It doesn't really... Well, this one's got... we got six salvage. 
And I know we do, I can't remember if we have gauntlet parts, but I know we do have a couple of bushwhacker parts. But the gauntlet's the better of the two mechs, right? So... And let's hope we have parts. Fingers crossed. So, one, two, three, four, five, six bushwhacker parts as well. Are you kidding me? Two Yenlo Wang parts. Oh my god, this was an amazing roll. We got to take fire, auto cannon fire, and a mask, TSM, plasma ammo, which we haven't had in, well, we have got one now, but we got extra plasma ammo now. That's, that's, okay, this is good. All right. So there's the bushwhacker. I know we had bushwhacker parts. So there's the bushwhacker. And we didn't have gauntlet parts. I thought for sure we did. Well, I was hoping on two mechs there, but we're damn close to the second one. And almost no damage. That's really awesome. So let's have a look. We got two mechs to have a look at now. Problem is, is we don't really have the sea bills to upgrade these guys like we want. So the bushwhacker, actually, you know what? We can take the fire starter now. Because we don't need it anymore out here. Uh, and Because we just took it for the one mission. And let's drop that into storage right away. The bushwhacker here. See what he's got on him. Not much, it doesn't look like. LB10X. Engine. Repair, repair. It's weird that the engine needed to be repaired, but I guess because we punched the core out of him. So, it looks like a lot of the arm stuff lasted, which is nice. So, we picked up a bunch of stuff we could probably use later on. 323,000. We can't really do that right now. Um, so, we're going to have to do some milk runs, I think. Uh, what else do we got? The Grinner. Let's have a look here. So what does this guy got for hard points? It's basically a, a, a Wolfhound. 337,000, yeah. So we got a Clan Guardian ECM out of that. Clan Double Heatsink. Clan Pharaoh, which is awesome. And a hand, because everybody needs a hand. So that's actually not too bad. This is a pretty good 30, um, 35 ton mech. It's got the 8, or sorry, 10 um, laser hard points which is awesome, or energy hard points, and one support hard point. Um, so, I mean, technically you could build this guy with just regular medium lasers, put 10 of them in here, and some heat sinking, and this thing could be a monster at 35 tons. Uh, we're not going to do that, though. We're just going to just leave him for now, because uh, we're right on the doorstep of our financial report. So, let's just get past that real quick. And then what we'll do is we'll pull off one more mission with the main lance today. Try and take something where we can make some good sea bills. Yeah, see, we're already dropping down. Um, so let's get everybody back here. All right. And let's go with... Let's just check. I don't think we lost any components. I just want to make sure we're good to go. Yep, we're good to go. So let's take maybe a four skull. Biological sample, well, cease and desist, it's destroy base. It's a good payout, very little salvage, but that's fine because we need sea bills. We want to get these mechs up and running, so let's negotiate this. We'll just go in and smash everything. Uh, let's go this one out of four, just in case there are some good pieces that we can pick up. Draconis Combine, we'll get some rep back with these guys. We lost a little bit of rep there. So let's flush out the guys that we don't need here and move around our mechs, uh, Shadowhawk, Flamehawk, and Griffin. And Babiaga can come in. We need to get Sunflower and Red Comet and Megasaur. And let's do this. <clears throat> okay, guys. Typical base to structure map. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. So we want to make sure we get in that water, get nice and cool, so we can alpha strike continuously over and over and over. 
and over and over and over again. We're relatively cool. Receiving. Relatively cool running lance. Roger. Especially in the hands of the professionals. Standing by. Uh, let's just get behind these guys. Double time. Let's go. What do we got here? Exterminator? Huh. Interesting. Okay, I gotta see what he is. Huh. I think if we actually get this mech, gonna have to change from exterminator to egg exterminator, so EGG exterminator. Just because it's the egg channel. All eggs, all the time. Moving in. Uh, we got an assassin. I still don't know the way to this guy, but... Uh, if he wants to stand there, we'll dish him up a little bit of punishment. He does kind of look like an assassin, though. I've, that's why I had to kind of zoom in on him, just to see if it was, like, an assassin-type mech. Let's get in here so we're not uh, in the open. What do we got here? Fulcrum. Another fulcrum. Not so bad. And firing. Okay, blinding flare. Sensors scrambled. So I'm, I'm interested to see how they handle the uh, um, the fast scam, the landmines, in the next edition. If there's if there is um, area of effect, meaning you can target a hex and, and anyone and the hexes around it will get targeted as well. Uh, you could lay down a missile barrage like in the center of people and um, hit them all, which would kind of be cool. Ow. Got that AMS in there, man. Starting to show its worth. Well, wow, that's pretty horrible. That's actually not bad. One acid, one inferno. Apply a little bit of damage to this guy afterwards. Okay, we got acid on him. It's always good to have. 20%. Doesn't Don't knock it, man. 20% damage. It's pretty darn good. Let's target this guy. See if we can remove him. Nope. Nope. How close did we get though? I have no idea. Plink, plink. Not looking forward to these turrets though. I think we need to kill this egg exterminator really fast. I guess we could get Babiaga targeting the turrets early. Looks like they're only half strength turrets. Which is kind of disconcerting. It is a four skull mission, so I'm wondering if they're going to have reinforcements. Maybe I should make my play more over to the right there. Just in case the reinforcements do arrive relatively sh within short order. Ooh. You're shooting your own guys in the back, dude. <laughs> it's. He's the, uh, he's the Russian, um, the World War II Russian uh, morale officer. Taking shots at the troops in the back to get them to move forward. Come on, guys. You know you want to go to fight. Let's go. Don't move back here. I take it back. You know, as much as the ridiculous things you want to say about the Russians in World War II, they did eventually kick the Germans' ass hardcore. And it's funny because uh, even the Germans said, um, even their commanders said that, oh yeah, you know, we're easily going to be able to roll over the Russians and stuff. But the Russians just always had the order to attack, 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 attack. It wasn't until like 
I think mid-43, Battle of Kursk, where they realized they started to need to put a lot into defenses. But they just never stopped. They never, ever stopped fighting. You could not break the will of the Russians. They just never stopped fighting. And even in, if you look at the Finnish war, uh, when they attacked Finland, yes, they lost, the, they lost the war. But even the Finnish commanders said the same thing. No matter how badly we were beating the Russians, they never stopped fighting. They, they never ran away. They never, <laughs> you know what I mean? They stood and fight. They stood and fought the battles. They didn't, like, you know what I mean? So, What's that, that's potentially dangerous to any, uh, let's move over here. I know we're getting in the open, but potentially dangerous to any army trying to take over Russia, man. It's like, these guys aren't going to stop fighting. Fire. Not going to break their will. Wow, that was like eight points from the uh, tagger. I'm receiving you. Um, can we avoid? Well, maybe. Let's see if we can avoid the turrets here. Really shitty chances to hit, though. Well, we're here now. We warlord it? Nah. Roger that. Get a little bit of instability on him. 43 heat. He's got AMSs, so... Thanks for coming out, buddy. That could have been worse. Could have been. But it wasn't, so don't complain. Hmm. Roger. Okay, we got a lot of guns. So let's multi-target. God. Let's make sure we take that turret and fire everything else at this guy. Well, could have been better. What? What? Thought that would have been plenty. Huh. Okay. All right. I don't know if we're going to get reinforcements. This is round three. Damn it. Yeah, here they come. Minimal damage on that hit. Should get a laser ATM or uh, laser AMS and all these guys if I can. Oh shit! Where'd that come from? Let's do this. Okay, two shots. It's 120. So it's got about 60 something left in there. Okay, we're starting to make some progress here. And I can't melee anybody. Okay, can't multi-target, but we can shoot this guy, which we do the chaff off for now. Wow, 12 points. Thank goodness for pirate ER shit. Well, at least we get melee damage out of them. 
That's about all. Thanks for showing up to the battle. Got all of them with the MS, nice. Someone's gonna get punched in the face next turn. It's not gonna be me. Let me give you a hint. Stam starts with ass. Last bit of it is in. Come on. You can do it. Let's go, guys. I gotta say, though, I think the worst part about, like, YouTubing stuff is, like, in long lulls like that, just thinking of shit to say, like, could just remain quiet, I guess. Or I could spend an exorbitant amount of time just cutting out all the dead space, which I do for stuff at work, which I'm not gonna do for home, because I'm tired of doing that at work all day, I don't want to be doing it at home, too. Uh, let's multi-target this, let's get this guy... And let's shoot this guy. And I think we're going to go these on B. And the rest to A. Well, no. Let's put this on A and this on B because A has got an AMS, I believe, right? Or B's got an AMS. Only 45 damage? Oh, it's armored. I guess he takes less damage. Really? Really? Possibility, I guess. That's very unfortunate. We're taking full damage, though. Reporting major armor loss. Waiting for orders. Okay, so I think we're going to have to forego... ...the assassin for this moment and we're gonna step on some vehicles so I'm gonna do a multi-target here this and this B is gonna take uh, acid and infern well we're not gonna do any damage with inferno whoops B sorry um, inferno is gonna do same as acid really five heat I might do more all right so let's just go this route we should shut this guy down. Yep. So we don't have to worry about him. Yeah, still not enough. That's a medium laser, ER medium laser pot shot from the uh, Bushwhacker next turn. Megasaur is going to step on a vehicle, I think. Um, see what the assassin does. I bet you he does a backstab. Although one of these turrets has got a thunderbolt. I think it's this guy right here. Heavy sniper. Heavy shredder. Armored shredder. Don't know which guy it's going to be. So that guy's got ACs. Which means this guy's probably got ACs. That's the back turret, I guess. Strike damage. Hold in firm. I have no idea where that came from. I think it's this one. I think so. Keep moving full speed. And this is going to be a multi-target. We're going to shoot this guy. This is a guaranteed hit. So he's got 16 left up there. That's pulse razor, pulse um, laser um, range. So we don't need that. Let's just attack this guy. <sighs> 65 tons. We're here for for C bills. We're here for C bills. Let's just do this. Oh 
So we should be able to kill this guy next turn. I don't know why I'm worried about this. I should just be able to murder these guys. Let's just do it. Front attack, please. Yep. Location confirmed. Here we go. Okay. Let's clear up this turret on the left. And maybe we get you in here and get on this shredder turret. No idea what's in it. Ah, no back attacks. What is he doing? Commander. Moving out. Okay, so let's multi-target. So C is going to get this. B is going to get that. B, B, B. Firing. Copy that. Okay, just wanted to make sure we got it, which is why I use the pulse laser on it. All right, a little bit of a start. Let's get some uh, narc on this guy. Nice. So now I can move Comet in. Can I get to a point where that guy can't see me? No? Really? Moving out. Yep. Okay, nice. Target destroyed. Don't know if we got enough juice to get this last turret though. It's have it's not reinforced or armored, it's just a sniper turret, so. We've kind of left this guy alone. He'll only power up this turn, so it's not a big deal. Okay, where are you going? You're going to get squashed next turn, most likely. Unless the assassin decides to move in for a back attack, then he's going to be... Uh... Okay, we got lucky there. They probably got a lot of Ultra 2s, it looks like. Or at least AC 2s. So that's it for him. It's kind of a weird looking mech, too. Looks like an overgrown assassin. Um... Can we get behind him? We can't. Uh, no, we need to shoot the turret. We gotta shoot that turret, because we're bringing, uh... Comet back. So let's fire. Nice. Yeah, Comet's gotta come back to, to shut down this egg executioner. Let's finish this guy up. Nice. Don't know if he's more dangerous than the Fulcrum, but... <sighs> Definitely needed to go. Coming back to hit the front. Firing. See if he bails. Ah, XL engines destroyed. No biggie. No biggie. Wonder how much armor this guy's got. Might be able to step on him with the Wolverine. Yeah, most likely. It's like half armor everywhere. As long as we don't step on the front. Front looks like it's got... Well, maybe. Let's go from the side, though. Yes, Commander. 
Actually, it doesn't matter. It's just attack her from the back. Confirmed. We'll probably get one of the sides anyway. Nice. Ah, right, we can we can finish this base up. Just gonna move over so we don't see the carnage, the people burning and flattened in the vehicle. Okay, starting the buildings. This guy firing. Enemy structure is gone. It's history. Target building destroyed. Ready for order. Bye. Two hundred and thirty three damage, man. It's because of the acid. Comet gave us some acid. All right. Dropped a hit of acid before taking that guy out. Let's fire on him. This building. Goodbye. Let's, well, we got one more to go. All right, Sunflower. It's all yours. Get right up. Finish it off. Oop. Should have warlorded it. No big deal, though. Good enough. Yep. Let's go home. All right, 35% increase in payment, 1.2 million. 1.2 million sea bills. That's right, Mr. Bigglesworth. Okay, so we got that. Good, good XP across the board. It's nice. Wolverine took a bit of damage, but it was a little slow. Don't want any of those. Um... Uh, Boys cockpit. XL engine, maybe. It's 325,000. Uh, let's just slot it for now. See if there's anything else amazing down here. LRM, LK ammo. No, let's go for the cash, because that's what we were here for. We need to get those other mechs up and running. Although this 265 core would be nice. It's not really necessary. All right, let's do this. Okay, we make an exter egg exterminator part. Um, large laser, small laser. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Jade Falcon took Lum from Wolf. Yay! I'll be playing uh, Falcon Freeborn tonight to get an episode down for tomorrow, which will be Friday, the 29th of March. Um, so hopefully we got a few Jade Falcon worlds we can uh, um, help keep under Jade Falcon control. Uh, the Wolf Clan is uh, definitely working very hard to keep us down. But we'll do our best to keep fighting back. All right, 60,000 in repairs. Not bad. 14 days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these sea bills that we just made. And I'm going to leave the um, the bushwhacker and stuff for now. Um, the new bushwhacker, that is. And what I want to do is I want to bring the thunderbolt up. Let's bring the wolverine up. Um, bushwhacker. So this will be 7... 8, 9, 10, 10 days for both if we do it this route. So in 10 days we'll have all these mechs back. Uh, what I want to do is get that Thunderbolt up and running for the next mission. Um, maybe we can pull out... Uh, I don't know if we want to pull out the Raven. Uh, we'll figure out what we're going to pull out of the uh, the mainlands. The Arrhenia maybe? I don't know. Depends. We're going to drop one of the mechs. Uh, most likely the Wolverine will get dropped down into the lands below. And we'll move over the bushwhacker so that Sunflower can use the bushwhacker and we'll get the Thunderbolt rolling with Baba Yaga um, and see how that works out. Uh, if you have any uh, comments about Thunderbolt loadout, um, drop it in the comments section down below. Um, we are dealing with mostly la uh, energy hardpoints on it, so if you got any thoughts, let me know. Uh, I will load it out first because... Uh, between episodes because I want to have it up and running tomorrow when we, when we start right away. So um, I'll work towards that and then we can make adjustments from there just to see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so we're going to leave the episode there. If you'd like to drop a like, if you haven't uh, subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.